Welcome to another edition of Rangers Radar. A couple of new North York Rangers, Dante Spagnolo and Josh Redinger. And we'll just start with you, Josh. When you got the phone call that you were coming to the North York Rangers with all your experience with Milton, Oakville, and Toronto, what were your expectations early on? Um, well, I was really excited just moving from a team where the expectations weren't as high as they are here. We just kind of want to go as far as possible. But now... Uh, the kind of tides have turned and we're going to be looking for a ring this year so I'm really excited. Dante you pretty much made your bread and brother with the Patriots you won OJHL most improved player so what were your early impressions when you got the phone call saying you're leaving an organization that brought you up to a new one? Yeah you know I'm um, very thankful for every opportunity and everything I had uh, with the Toronto Patriots great organization. Uh, I was super excited to get the call that I was going to be joining North York uh, Pretty pretty loaded team here with a lot of veteran guys, a lot of skilled guys. So I'm just super excited to be here and get to play with all these talented players. Josh, you, you kind of have a rarity coming into this team because this defensive core has been around for a year, those five players. So what was it like learning from those guys and learning a complicated system here? Uh, the guys really took me in really easily. They made it really easy for me coming in. They helped me out. Uh, learning the systems actually came pretty quick. I think us in the Pats kind of had uh, similar systems. But they're always talking to me on the bench, giving me little tips and tricks here. Coaching staff's been great, so uh, it's been pretty easy. And you mentioned it before, very loaded roster. So offensively, trying to accommodate yourself in this log room, find your place. What was the adjustment or really the biggest challenge of it? Uh, you know, just being able to trust everybody. Like, everyone's really talented and skilled here. So, uh, you know, just being able to rely on your teammates and know if you do j your job, they're going to do theirs. So there's a really big trust factor here, and everyone... Uh, holds themselves accountable and does their part, so it makes it really easy on everyone else. And now we're going to go to rapid fire, which will be interesting since you guys are fairly new. So, where's Chirper? Where's Chirper? I'm going to have to say Jet. Yeah. It says a lot of stuff, but none of it makes sense. All right, who is the best Chirper on the bench during a game? Uh, best Chirper? i say Yammer. Yeah. Yammer for sure. Yeah. Who has the hardest shot on the team when you just look at it and you go, wow? I'm going to have to go with a, po a popular answer in Fantuzzi. Yeah. I mean, he's got a bomb, and uh, everyone seems to know it. <laughs> Who has the silkiest hands? Because there's a lot of talented players on this team. The silkiest hands? Like nice uh, I'll say Stocks. I've seen him uh, throw a couple dangles in the last few games, so it's pretty smooth. If you were stuck on an island with one person you can't say Dante, so do you know him? Who would it be? Um, I'm going to have to go with Reese just because we've known each other for a little bit. We carpool, and uh, I enjoy his company. <laughs> who, If you were going to a bar, who would be the best wingman? Oh, Reese for sure. Yeah. Reese, yeah. Reese, <laughs> just because he's the biggest wingman. He, you walk in, and he's already scouting for everybody. He's so pumping you up. Yeah, he's, a real, he's real for the boys, so he's a great way. Who would have the best vocal cords on, your team, on the team, you think? Uh, that's Edie Rudy. Uh, Rudy, he, he's always screaming for the clear, and it's pretty loud and pretty high. It's pretty annoying, but uh, I'm going to have to go with Rudy. If I have a question for you, if you were going to be in a wrestling match, who would be your tag team partner? Wrestling match? Uh, I'd say Raddy. He's kind of a beast. I see him bear hug a lot of guys on the ice, so he'd definitely be a good guy to have on your side. <laughs> well, thank you again for tuning in to Rangers Radar. Josh Ranger, Dante Spagnuolo, thank you. We'll have one more edition next week right here.